I think we have to talk about the Ryan Fitzpatrick interview, the virtual one via probably Zoom with the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins interviewed two players, Ryan Fitzpatrick and Devon Godshaw. Devon Godshaw is a defensive lineman and probably most of the focus is on the quarterback, Ryan Fitzpatrick. And here's here's my question. Why didn't Josh Rosen do an interview? Sure, maybe the Miami Dolphins just asked those two players to do an interview, but Vince Beagle just went on a smaller Miami Dolphins uh, YouTube channel called uh, Dougley Do Wrong, and Vince Beagle got a virtual interview. And since it's virtual, you just got to log on on Zoom and just have a conversation. And I think that's very important for Josh Rosen right now since people are calling him a bust, and he really is. I mean, he's failed in two locations in the three games he started for the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins just didn't look invigorated. They just look weak. They didn't look like they had any leadership. And my question is, with Tua coming along, with Ryan Fitzpatrick, and then with Josh Rosen just hanging in there, I don't see Josh Rosen stepping up with his leadership. It just looks like he's just falling behind to Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ryan Fitzpatrick's truly taking command of the locker room. And, ooh, we got to talk about that Josh Rosen trade rumor. Is it possible that Josh Rosen can be traded for a second time? And if history does repeat itself, which it tends to do, Josh Rosen most likely will be traded. I, as a Dolphins fan, I don't think Josh Rosen should be traded because he should be a quality backup. Like Ryan Fitzpatrick is, what, 36, 37? He's not going to be around forever. So I think once Ryan Fitzpatrick retires, you could just have Josh Rosen to back up Tua in case he gets injured. And uh, yeah, Tua does have an injury history, so I could see that happening. The Miami Dolphins quarterback room has to be the most controversial quarterback room right now because we don't know who's going to start. We have this guy who is a 2018 first-round pick who just doesn't look like he's ever going to be given a chance to become a starter. I mean, you do have quarterback rooms, maybe like Nick Foles and Mitch Trubisky, which are also interesting, but we have a three-quarterback battle. And in my opinion, whoever plays the best in training camp should start. Looks like Tua is healthy. I mean, did you see that workout video with Tua doing like the ladder with his quick feet? Tua Tungavailoa is looking good. And Josh Rosen just... I I think the Dolphins will... I think they should keep him as a quarterback too, but if you do get a third round or a fourth round selection for Josh Rosen, I could easily see the Dolphins pulling the trigger on him because I feel like the Dolphins really do love Ryan Fitzpatrick as the veteran presence. Maybe as a starter over Tua just for his rookie year and then as a good backup in case Tua gets injured and just to mentor him.